Santa Clara University. Santa Clara came in third place this year. The home features bamboo eye joists. Bamboo is a renewable and sustainable source of lumber. This home is the first use of bamboo as a structural load bearing material in the U.S. Automated control systems use 30 sensors to examine and adjust the temperature, lighting and humidity of the building to maximize energy efficiency in relation to the outdoor weather conditions. The solar thermal collectors are used for water heating, air heating, and for an evaporative chiller. This is a solar air conditioner, one of the two prototypes in existence. Heated water activates a thermal process that chills water to 44 degrees. Hey, don't ask me to explain. I'm only 8 years old, you know. It uses the central air system to cool the home. The solar panels generate 7.4 kilowatts, which is stored in batteries and is enough to power the home for five days without any more sun. University of Madrid. Electrochromatic windows darken or lighten to either block or let in the sun's rays. The self-facing wall is a double skin design which allows in plenty of light while providing insulation. Phase change gels in the foundation help to regulate the temperature of the building. This smart foundation can enable the home to be placed on poor quality ground. The rooftop solar panels create 9.6 kilowatts of electricity. Team Montreal The green self-facade wall and green roof create a natural air cleansing system and allows for rainwater to be collected and stored. The steel structure of the home is 100% recyclable and allows for longer spins, eliminating load-bearing walls and support columns for an open floor plan design. Polyurethane insulation is made from soybeans and recycled plastic, which provides a complete and continuous thermal blanket around the house. The solar panels generate 8.2 kilowatts of electricity. Texas A&M University. The Grow Home concept is for a modular open source design to anticipate the changing needs of owners and to allow for upgrades, enhancements, and replacements. The rooms can be added or removed. The home incorporates high-tech lighting, light emitting capacitor panels. These are designed to turn any surface into a light source. They consume very little power and generate no heat. University of Texas at Austin. The Bloom House design is based on five principles. Community, adaptability, harvest, endurance, and delight. The siding is made of thousands of lightweight plastic panels which block direct solar gain while responding to wind with a simple swaying motion. The building envelope uses steel moment frames instead of sheer walls for structural stability, which allows for an open floor plan. University of Missouri, Rolla. This house features a paper stone exterior, which is made from 100% recycled paper. It resembles plate and rivet construction in appearance. The cabinets and flooring are made from eucalyptus trees, which are extremely durable and renewable. A 12-foot folding glass wall brightens the living space. The entire wall can be opened so the interior living spaces join up with the deck. This is the solar house from MIT, the university from our home state, Massachusetts. The MIT house uses structural insulated panels, or SIPs, for the walls and the roof. SIPs are made of foam insulation sandwiched between two sheets of plywood. This provides superior insulation, exceptional strength, and moisture resistance. The four-piece sliding glass door provides a large open access to the deck. The high clerestory windows provide consistent soft northern light throughout most of the day. 
The cabinets in the kitchen are made from sorghum, which is wheat board material made from the waste left over from making molasses. The exterior siding of the home is a red cedar siding, which is a weather resistant and natural material. The decking material is made of recycled plastic. The unique light wall, called the warm wall, is aerogel and water filler. Water is a great thermal mass which warms the interior during the night. Warm board radiant floor panels provide the heat for the home. For hot water, the MIT house uses an 80 gallon single tank system to provide domestic hot water and heat for the radiant floor. A battery bank stores enough electricity to last for six days, provided by 9 kilowatt solar array. The eco grass lawn is a grass seed blend that is drought resistant, so it doesn't need watering, doesn't need any fertilizer, and grows slowly enough to only have to mow once a month. Here comes the sun.